share with me as you go, okay? In fact, in the forum, you have to answer to me some questions about what are the things that uh, we can share with the tourists, okay? Uh, today it's raining, but we are going to be writing about traveling around the uh -huh. So I hope you enjoy the activities and let's start. that we usually use, uh -huh. the simple ones. For example, we have here some examples. Uh, my father goes to the gym every day. I mean, simple sentences are the ones that we usually use. Uh -huh. I like uh, soda, it's a simple sentence. The only requirement for simple sentences is that it has a subject and a verb, uh -huh. that is uh, the component. Now, for example, we have they talk too much. That is a simple sentence. Another It doesn't make any sense. It is no 
not understandable. We need both parts of the sentences so we can understand what is going on in the sentence. Uh -huh. The last example. The more conditionals you use, the better. If I quit this part, the better. The better what? No, I mean we need the other part of the explanation. Mandatory. It says the more conditionals you use, the better. Ah, I'll be okay. That might be the explanation for complex, uh, simple, and common. I mean, please, uh, if you have any question about this explanation, let me know. I can help you. Okay. Now, let's check the activity. In here, you have some examples, the ones that I already present to you, but they are bigger so you can observe better the options that you have. Simple sentence, again, are these simple sentences that we usually use. Now, we have the compound sentences, sentences that are linked, but that they can live independently. They are independent clauses, both of the sentences. The door is locked and I don't have a key. I mean, both are possible to live without the other. And we have the complex sentences that are dependent on the other. For example, you should always use conditionals even if they are simple. Even if they are simple might be the dependent clause, the one that can live without the other. And in the activities, my students, you have to complete these sentences with the word of the phrase in the box. This is coming from the explanation that I already gave to you. The second activity might be related to this one. We are going to combine each of set of clauses to make a complex sentence. You can use when, also, or because according to the one that you prefer. You have to create a sentence, but a complex sentence, one that is dependent than the other. And here you have to write a compound sentence and a complex sentence about your school day. We are not at school, so you can tell me about your school, your day, your home day. Yes, please. And question, have you ever traveled for more than a week? Did you miss your room and your things? What did you do to feel better? What happened, okay, in your trips? Okay, please let me know. Now, you have to write. It's time to write. I told you that we are writing. Title, topic, sentence about... What can people do in my country? What are the special things about Mexico? What can the people do here? Help me please. And later you have to have this check. So you can check what are the missing things that you have in your essay. Please my students. Now if we go to the activities to the platform. Please check. The first one is to solve pages 64 and 64 that I already explained to you. Second is to enter the forum and answer the question there is to forum one, please. And I will explain to you in this moment, yes, how to enter to the forum. You have to check here, you have the option of forum. Yes, please press there in the forum section in B English. It's important, it's in B English. And later, when it is open, it will appear to you three forums. In this moment, we are going to check the forum one. That is the one that is for the activity today. The forum one, when you open it, it will have the question. Please don't forget to submit the, the forum. It is important. And the question might be, answer the following questions. And you have two questions this. What do you like about your country? And what would you say to, to convince a tourist to come to our country? Please help me doing this activity and I see you in the next video. If you have any questions, you can write to me in the forum of doubts or you can call to the school and I'll be there available for you. Thank you very much and see you.